I often let the materials take the lead. I often let them show me what they do naturally, and I try to sort of work along those lines. I found a big hunk of styrofoam in this construction site outside my studio window. I brought it inside, and by carefully kind of picking it apart, I discovered you could find little flowers inside them, these kind of cells of styrofoam that would cluster around a central point. If you dip those in ink, it takes on a very interesting kind of purple-blue cast. So I made a lot of these styrofoam flowers. Some of the earliest work I made thought about the human connection to the natural world or how humans see their place within the natural world or why we even separate these two things from one another. My fake plants project is definitely a project that pulls not only from a lot of different materials, but from a lot of different themes that have run through my work for a long time. It became, in a funny way, a kind of fantasy travel to other places and thinking about the imagined landscapes of those places. I made a point of not copying existent actual plants. The way I'm working with this is really to work with a kind of database that's already in my head of things I have seen and the botanical category of things that I'm working with in a generalized manner. I began paying a lot of attention to the plants that were around me, even things like weeds in the street, became as interesting as any botanical garden, actually. I've made a lot of plants coming out of sponges, you know, things that kind of often in the home gross us out when things begin to grow in them, and in this case I'm trying to sort of plant something there that becomes spectacular in a small-scale way. There's an element of research that has to happen with my hands. I have to actually hold a thing and turn it around and look at it and arrange it in space for me to really understand what it is. I was trying to kind of really be strict about working with things I had already acquired or things that were on their way to being thrown out. I think what I want to have happen in these is that Someone looking at them has sort of two experiences at the same time, where they can recognize a lot of what these materials are, and they recognize them for the very unspectacular materials that they are. And at the same time, they're looking at something very transformed. So I sort of want a person to be on both sides of the transformation. You can imagine your way back to what all of these things started as, and then sort of forward to what they became, and, and imagine a process along the way.